Hey everyone. Howdy. Welcome to our kitchen, our humble abode. While you enter, say hello. I am going to, as you guys know, go share this in a few places. Um, so bear with us here. We, this is a whole new setup. I'm going to let Sean take that. So um, as we come in, just say hi and we'll get this going. So give me one sec yes. here. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Who's going to be my first to pop up in the room? Oh, my God. It's the, I like a whole bunch. Emily looks like she was first. Norma, Lisa, McGee, Karen Radford. Hello, howdy. Will you and me, Sandy, Richards, Kathy, Nancy, Mary Pat, Sylvia, Wendy, Michelle, Paula, Anna Jean Gates for Facebook, Jill, Amber, Jackie Rose, and Shannon. I'm waiting for a Twitch person to pop in here. Emma Schaff. Boy, Are we on at... Twitch? Like we did that for sure? You have it on, don't you? I do, but I don't yeah. know where it went. Who knows? Let me see if it's there. I'm going to go to Twitch real quick. Should be there. Okay. Nope. Channel. Mm -hmm. yeah, there we are. We are there. All right. Well, we'll just see what happens, won't we? Hi, guys. We had one person that said hi, guys. It was... Jenny65. Hello, okay, Jenny. Welcome. I'm going to go let our dogs out really quick because they're already doing their thing, Sean. So oh, you can no, say hi to everyone. Hi, Please everybody. Explain to them what Twitch is and what that's all about. All right, everybody. Um, for those who have not been on Twitch, you should. It's a great little, it's another uh, uh, streaming platform just like uh, YouTube and Facebook. It's uh, mostly for gaming, all those gamers out there, but they also have a whole bunch of other um uh, categories like talk, chat, podcast, cooking, creating, uh, makers, and all that stuff. This one I kind of threw over to talk and podcast only because they really don't have one for just cooking per se. So we we figured why not? We'll see how we'll see what governs that happens on there. Jan Page, hello. Oh, Jan is Jen Nabel. Howdy, howdy. Clubby214 from New Zealand. Oh, we love our New Zealanders. Thanks for joining over All there, right. my lady Jackie. Yes, hello. So, hey, guys. So... Um, this is a little different. A little different. I told you guys all before Halloween I would show you how to make my Kool-Aid popcorn balls mm -hmm. and my Jello popcorn balls. That is what we're doing tonight. But first, let me go and explain a couple things. Number one, Everything we are talking about is down below mm -hmm. in the links. There is a master link list. Sean is the link master list, and he can get you any of the links. Um, also down below, we have a couple things I wanted to bring your attention to. Number one is our Twitch channel. Mm -hmm. We like Twitch. It's got a higher resolution. It's very, very nice. So go over there. Very, very nice. Another second thing is my Chalk Couture Opportunity Group. A lot of people have been asking questions about joining Chalk Couture, and I've created a group to answer all your questions. So if you are interested in Chalk Couture, come check out that group and I'll get you approved. The other thing is right after this live, we are gonna be going live on my Chalk Couture YouTube channel because mm -hmm. we are doing 45 days live. Yes, we are. We're on day 11. So we'll be going there right after here. So that link is down below there. And I always get the question during their lives, how do we support you? So I've given you all of the links on how you can support us through Amazon, Cricut, Silhouette. I've just been added to Art Impression Stamps. Um, I have our good friend 651 Vinyl down there. I also have a whole bunch of uh, video lists of my uh, machine reviews and all that. I know we're getting into Christmas time. Also, I have all the information about Chalk Couture you'd want. There is a list called Ken Recommends. This shows our glue gun, all of the tips and tricks we've had, and any product we're talking about, there will be a link down there. So there's a lot of information down there, mm -hmm. and let's get going. Let's so do it. First and foremost, welcome. Um, I'm gonna start by filling up my ice. This is not a shameless plug, but everyone oh. always asks about my Opal ice machine, which is this guy right here. And we have to fill it full of water, oops. Even though they are coming out with a new thing that hooks right into the Opal ice machine itself, it goes on to the side of it, and it uh, gives you a gallon of water that pumps continuously into it. So 
Right now we have to hand fill it, which isn't bad, but it gets annoying after a while. Yeah, the gallon will be nice because this only takes like six cups of water and that's so it. So this is the Opal Ice Machine. Before anyone freaks out, it is expensive. Right now on Amazon it's about $400, um, but it is worth every, every penny. penny. Um, it makes, everyone calls it, I just call it pellet ice, but it's, it's Sonic ice. Comes with this little thing. I love it. It's crunchy ice. So it's kind of got that crunch to it a little in this. And then I just add flavor to the ice. I actually don't even add that much water because I like to chew ice, but this gives it a little flavor. You can get this at any, most places have like a cash and carry or a, I don't know what else they're called. We call them URM here. So if you want anything on that, let me know. I dropped some water, sorry. Um, so that's first and some other things we're going to be using before we get going is we are using these three things everyone keeps asking about this is norwex window clock we use this to dry anything this is the norwex enviro thing so for anything sticky this works really good to get stuff that's sticky off okay window clock dries and then this is the scrubby brush if you have not played with this you need it it is this scrubby thing in different smells, but it literally gets, I mean, everything off. We're talking paint, automotive stuff, everything. So as I'm working, you'll see me use this stuff. All right. They're wanting to know what kind of flavored ice you're using or what kind of flavorings are you using? Well, you can go show them. Well, let's go I over two there. two different companies over there. You're going to have to move these guys. I can't. So, so um, I have mango. Strawberry. The mango and the Monin are from uh, is Blackberry. from our um, URM place. No, Total Wine oh. and More. You can get this one at Total Wine and More. Mm -hmm. These we got at our local like cash and carry bulk store. So they had these. They were like five dollars a jar. So we have this, which basically tastes exactly like the peach Bellini tea from um, Olive Garden. Yeah. So we have raspberry, pear, blackberry, strawberry, mango. Now these are a syrup, so they're very um, I hate to say thin. So these are from a company called Amar. Mm -hmm. That's our dog. Oh, I'll go take care of her. Armoret Armoretti, I think. And this, um, you can get online, and they have a beverage infuser. And this is a little bit more of a thicker concentrate. So I have strawberry, raspberry, um, tropical, which is pomegranate, and some other. This is Southern Charm. This is mango, which I do not recommend. It's got a weird aftertaste but their key lime is fantastic. And so is their wild berry. And um, of course we have this, uh, because I don't drink pop anymore. I don't drink pop, I don't drink a lot of stuff. This does have sugar in it, so I'm trying to stay away from sugar, but it's not so bad that it's... You're, you're putting so little to make it yeah. go up so much farther. So there you just... go. Okay, so let's pop back over here. So we're gonna start with, this is two different recipes, and let me explain to you what we're doing. So when I, um, you can put that up there, Sean, if you want for a little bit, unless you like holding it. Oh yeah, it's fine. Um, when I, I was this. young, I probably was in second grade, I went over to my Aunt Edie's house, and she made us popcorn balls made out of Jello. and ever since then, I've been hooked. Um, and then, of course, my mom was hooked. And so every Halloween specifically, my mom would have it make me or have me make these popcorn balls. Um, she specifically liked lime and raspberry. Those were her two favorite colors. The only thing that's different now is Sean prefers not to have it in a ball. He'd rather just have it in a bowl, mm -hmm. which is what we're going to do. Um, so this is my favorite. The, the jello one is my favorite. Probably four years ago, we discovered the Kool-Aid version, which is pretty good, but Sean loves it. The Kool-Aid version is baked, and he likes it because it's more traditional caramel corn, but in a flavoring. Yes. So we're going to show you both. They're both easy. Both recipes are down below. Um, we are using Sean's um, new way here, and we're going to start with the Kool-Aid one because we do have to bake the Kool-Aid one. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to grab my recipe, the same recipe I shared with you. And hopefully our little girl out there is being a good girl and not being a turd bomb. Because she has a tendency to be like that. I'm just saying. 
Oh yeah, she does. If you guys have any questions on anything, this is Ken's Creations channel, unlike other channels where I can't do stuff. I can pretty much do anything on this channel and answer questions. Mm -hmm. um, so please feel free to ask any questions. Let me start off at the top because I know everybody's asking. Yes, I have my oh, arm. Yes, for those I who have, for those you. who have not seen it, I fell off my ladder uh, yesterday. I was doing some trimming, and. Um, you trying to go, what do you want to do? Just oh, you, zoom in. you explain. And um, I fell. Boom. Because he didn't yes. listen can, to Ken. Yes. I hit my head right here on the on leg of the, of the uh, ladder and unfortunately it broke my wrist. It is called an intra-articular distal radial Once fracture. Again, because he was not listening to Ken. With no displacement. So no because surgery. he was not listening to Ken. But all I'm feeling right. great. I, I feel great. So I'm going to grab all of our stuff. So the first thing on this one is you do want to bake, um, get your oven set to, it's a pretty low temperature. It's 225, mm -hmm. but it's not too bad. Um, and this one here is you're going to boil your sugar, your syrup, and your butter. So here is, um, for this first one, we are using. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Jill Pilcher says, miss you so much, Kenny Boo. Hi, Jill. How are you? So this is the sugar. Jill, Jill, I miss you too. Um, this is the Kool-Aid we'll be using. Mm -hmm. We had watermelon, but Sean already ate the watermelon. Um, so that's strawberry kiwi. Caro syrup, of course. I just use natural. Now I do, you can get real popcorn and pop it yourself, air pop it. But if you get the Orville Redenbacher Naturals, this has no butter, nothing, a little bit of salt, and it works perfect. Um, and then we do need baking soda for this one. Uh, we have a new person in the room from YouTube, Davida or Davida, D-E-V-D-A. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Um, Emily asks why this and not the stove. My this new wave induction. So this is all by magnet, magnet, uh, magnet a magnetic field. It's extremely accurate in temperature and stuff like that. So when I put it to a temperature, that's where it's gonna be. Um, when you hit the very, the max, what they call the max here, it's about uh, 550 degrees or so. It doesn't really say that, but that's about how much it says. And the rest is all within there and you can adjust it within every five uh, degrees or so. So the first thing that goes in is one cup of caro syrup. So basically, this is popcorn with sugar, 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 mm -hmm. sugar, sugar, and guess what? More sugar. Hi, Donna and Janet. So we're going to put in the sugar first, and then we need um, two cups sugar. So that's going to be our other measuring cup. Excuse me, Sean. Um, Sadler Rowan's asked, can I be a pa Patreon if I'm a chocolate designer? What was that? Yes, you can. Yes, you may. Somebody says said. the recipe is not posted. It is down below. There should be recipe in the links. Which service the links. are they on? Say again? Which, where is that comment coming That's from? That's coming from YouTube. So if they hit the description of the video, all the links are there. Yeah. You can also post uh, the links, link deli list, Sean, yep. and that will be... Give me a second. So I'm going to be popping the popcorn in the background. We're going to do two bags of popcorn. And I'm going to get also the two cups of sugar. Uh, Heather, I did not get new glasses. These glasses are actually very old. They actually used to be his glasses at one time. I just took his frames and put new lenses in. Although I'm looking like I'm going to need new. Oh my new. gosh, you guys. These are now in Walmart, and I'm obsessed. If you've never had these, they're so good. Julio's chips, oh, so, so good. So I'm just sending off the Link Deli link. Uh, that should have everything in it. Yes, the recipes should the first, be one of the first Literally, the first two on there are the recipes. So we need, um, just so you guys know what I'm doing, a cup of Caro syrup, two cups of sugar, and two-thirds cup butter. So this is why if you were to use... Um, butter popcorn, it's going to be okay because you're putting butter in it. Oh, that is so true, Miss 
uh, Joel Cassidy. Fun tip, lightly spray your cup with cooking spray before you put it in. I usually the caro do that. will pop right out, yeah. I usually actually do that. I know. But um, we just didn't. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. Sean has this care or this spray right now from Costco that I hate. It sprays it's in a natural, huge. It's deep. natural and it's aerosol free because mm -hmm. I guess aerosol is killing the world or something. I don't know. Our dogs will be gone and we'll be dead by that happens. So I should care more, but I don't. Don't judge me. Oh. But I miss my aerosol spray. I don't oh. like this other stuff we have. Sean. Sorry, Cricket. She's uh, just saying goodbye to her 13-year-old border collie yesterday. Oh, I am uh, so sorry. We know it so well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn this on to high, and then we press start. Some of the th uh, even when you buy a large, which is what I'd like to get, an actual large cooktop uh, induction system uh, instead of my gas because I like it so much. And yes, you do have to have special pots and pans. Uh, they have to have a magnetic base. As long as a magnet can touch it, it'll work. This one is the Costco one here. I love it. Works great. There are other ones out there, but this one works really well. Comes with a whole bunch of uh, sizes and stuff. And it, you have to make sure it has the induction sign on it, which are four, it looks like uh, Curse of Elves all in a row. So while the popcorn is popping, Sean. Come on over, Allie. More than welcome. As the popcorn is popping, I'm gonna go ahead and take butter and grease a cooking sheet. We do not put it on wax paper. We do not do anything fancy dancy. We're just gonna do these, which are, if you have like a URM or anything like that, they should have a section where all of your um, like baking supplies are. And I am just going to put butter all over this. Sean, the link is not working. I went to it and I came right up. Here it is. One second. This Can you one, this, that, yes, this first one is the. Um, the Jello is the Jello one. Is just no. the one I grabbed first. The, the, oh, I'm sorry. The Kool-Aid's the, the one we're doing right now. So then, as soon as I'm done doing this, I will send off the Kool-Aid one here in just a minute. But that is the link right there, and it went straight to the, uh, the website. So we'll double check it for everybody here. Winnipeg. Is it saying the link's not working? They're saying the link does not work for the uh, recipes. Although when I clicked on it, it worked fine. Which link are you giving them? Um, I went to Link Deli, clicked on that, and then when it popped up, I grabbed it. I just copy pasted what that one right there. So that's one they have already. The link is in the list, guys. I hate to tell you, I don't want to be a jerk, but it says it's Jello Popcorn Ball Recipe. It's literally the first. First two. Week. Unless yeah. Sean has been given the wrong list, which I don't believe he has. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's the first one there. Yep. And then the second, I'm sorry, it's the Kool-Aid is the one we're yeah, doing. The first one is Kool-Aid. Okay, so as Sean is stirring that, we're going to take um, Kool-Aid and baking soda and kind of do a pre-mixture of it. So you're going to take your two packs of Kool-Aid. Sorry, Sean. Good I one. got this now. You can. All right. So Sorry, we have two over. packs of Kool-Aid here. And they're going to go. Yeah, everybody else says the links are working just yep, fine. Yeah, that's what I say. And usually one person says that doesn't work, but for most links people. Links work now. Good. Thank you, Sylvia, for letting us know. So and I will just go and bring up the Jello one or the Kool-Aid one real quick here just to have it there for those. So here is our Kool-Aid, and it's going to get one teaspoon, excuse me, Sean, baking soda. One teaspoon baking soda. And I try to crunch it up so there's just powder, no clumps. So we're just going to take our baking soda and get it nice and as even as possible. Oh, sorry. Yep. Uh, and don't we have to do that after the boil? Huh? Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, you're yeah. showing it. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah. I thought you were, gonna, um, I thought you were about okay. to put it in there going, wait a minute. Nope. And then in your little ramekin or whatever, you're going to stir that together. And you're going to put this off to the side. So as this is boiling, we, of course, will stir it. And in a separate bowl, 
I like to go through my microwave popcorn and get rid of any kernels. Because when you're eating popcorn, if you crunch on a kernel, hello, not Ms. fun. Hello, Ms. Daring. Yeah, Beverly, these, this is the best way to eat it. I, I know a lot of people like the popcorn bars. I just don't like the effect of trying to, because a lot of people really smash and really form those balls so hard that they're too hard to eat. That by doing it the other way, it, it makes them easier to handle. And it's just breaked off, you know, some broken off pieces and you can just eat it without having been so crushed. Reminds me of making our... Uh, Almond Roca? Almond Roca. I know, right? For all those who have seen my own Roca recipe, this is very similar, just not with the uh, that. All right, Sean. Arm, feel, arm feels good. Thanks, Ken So Kenbury. we are bringing um, this to a boil, and now we want to boil it for about three minutes, which it's already been doing for a pretty good amount of time. Once it boils for about three minutes, we are going to grab this. You might need to come out here, Sean. What's that? Grab these, just grab, zoom out. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sure, I can do that. Because we're going to spread out our popcorn. I'm going to pop our... So now we're also going to turn our heat off and add that combination of Kool-Aid and baking. And word of warning, this can puff up quickly, so be okay. careful. So can you let me know when you're going to oh, talk? Oh, sorry. Because I was really, really about to say that. So as you can see, see how it's puffing up? So that's what Sean was trying to say. So you're gonna add this, remove it from the heat first, then add it, and make sure you have a nice deep area here, because or deep uh, thing, because it will puff up, just like Sean was saying. Ooh. Um, so, we need... Okay, so we're gonna take our two trays, and we're gonna spread out our popcorn. And this is where I was saying you kind of want to make sure you're looking for any of those kernels because... Who wants to bite into those? Yeah, they are kind of not fun to bite into. Thanks, Debbie. When Sean eats this, it's so annoying because I love Sean dearly, but he is a spitter of popcorn. So when he eats popcorn, all you hear is crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? I don't like the little things. I hate the, I hate the kernel part. And so he'll spit thing. them out or do whatever. It cracks me up. What is the redone items Ken is looking for? Oh my gosh, there's so tons many. Tons and tons I and tons. I actually have a video that I'm going to post tomorrow on this channel um, of the, the things. It's mostly red and green items. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of have a daily ritual where I log into TJ Maxx and hope to goodness I can get something. But I think these other people or companies are using like robots. Like yeah. I need a robot to do it. Yep. They do it so quick quickly. Enough. And then I asked Ron to do it, and he was like, mm, no. Hey, he was Gary. like, this is too stressful for me. George, uh, George says uh, coconut and pineapple popcorn. Ooh, Ooh that'd that be good. That sounds good. All right. So I'm going to move this out of the way. So essentially now all we need to do is drizzle it over our popcorn. Now, the reason we started this one first versus the other ones is this one has to bake. The recipe will say 235 for 10 minutes, stirring every 10 minutes, and you'll do it three times. I think that's too much, but it's up to you what you mm -hmm. want to do. I The longer, just think of it this way, the longer you cook it, the crunchier it will get. So go. if you prefer to have something more soft and chewy, and Sean and I have discovered that really on the next day, it's a little bit more... Would you say chewier the next day? It was a little chewier. I think a lot of some of the um, moisture in the air probably got to it, so it wasn't as crunchy. Because at first it was like, oh my goodness, this is just way too crunchy. But then the next day it was great. Did I reach out to my doctor for the cast? Well, they actually reached out to me, missed their phone call by four minutes, called it back, left a message, and they never called back. Which is probably, I, I bet you, some offices though do like a thing where they do all their calls in the morning, mm -hmm. like the scheduling in the morning. Maybe that's what happened. And I even called back twice, and they still they still went to voicemail. So it's like I'll call them early in the Today morning. Today was uh, Ryan's day off because he's yeah. going to four tens, and Jazzy's uh, kiddo had a birthday. 
So it was weird, to be honest, because it was yeah. just Sean and I. Very strange. And he's going to actually have Tuesdays off for the next couple months because he's, he's needing to be off early enough to do his gaming, but he doesn't get off early enough, so we're switching his days off to Tuesdays instead of Thursdays. Also, if you ever come to our house to say, hey, what's up, uh, make sure to not touch Sean's pots. The poor kids here all get yelled at for that. He's like a grumpy old man with My pots. pots are well over two years old and they still look it. Oh, brand new, here we go. Because I take care of them. You are so cute, Sean. I okay. try my best. So now what I'm going to do is just take a uh, thing. I'm going to put butter on both sides just with my hands. Boop, 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 boop. This is strawberry kiwi, just so you guys know. Last time we made watermelon, because that's Sean's favorite. Oh, Cheryl, wouldn't that be awesome? Um, and the best Kool-Aid ones I think we've had is... Kool-Aid will come out with some like fun flavors during the summertime, but during the winter time, it gets hard. But um, they had a strawberry kiwi one. So it requires two packets of Kool-Aid anyways. So my favorite is to take a packet of the strawberry, a packet of the watermelon, and oh, so good. I want to find, uh, who was it that just said that? Uh, Donna Wright, that's what my peanut butter recipe looks like. I would love to make soft peanut brittle. We have a a uh, company here in town that, that is, is awesome. Yep. So That's all so I'm good. doing right here is evenly, evenly distributing this, and you're gonna, t we're gonna end up uh, taking this out and stirring it anyway. So if you don't have it perfect, it's okay. We're gonna do the same thing to this one. You don't like your your lacro, your la cruz, cru, la cru, la cru. La cru. What's that? Oh, uh, you know that uh, big cast iron coated uh, green. I that have. you never use, yeah. I mm -hmm. know. I, that I do not the, know. The real version is. So let me tell you, I bought that for Sean, like I do many times Christmas, and he never uses things. But Hi, that Nancy. one. Nancy. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hi, Nancy. He has to tell me what Nancy it is, too. We have lots yes. of Nancy. So, yeah. Nancy, for those of you wondering who are on Facebook, is the lovely person I got to spend time with in Malawi. She is the, yes, she is the founder of Watts of Love. And, and we are bugging her because we need to go see her in Chicago. Yes. And she's the one that is inspiring me to maybe go to the Philippines. Yes. All right, so this is going to go in the oven, guys. We're going to cook at 10 minutes, 235, and then when our timer goes off, we're going to switch it and mm -hmm. turn it around. So Nancy's brother... I swear, Sean's twin. <laughs> I'm telling you, could just be because he's bald too, like Sean. But yes, yes. Okay, so that one is pretty much done. We'll wait for it to cook, and now we're gonna get started on the next one. But before we do that, Sean, you mm -hmm. can go back up to us, and we can chat a little bit sure. while I clean. Somebody just said that QVC sells holeless popcorn. Just I've saying. heard of it. Oh my goodness, I would love to have that. Well, you know, like the the. Um, the one popcorn that we like, or that bag of uh, Cosmo. Oh yeah. It's just it's just a ex it's extruded extruded pop or corn material, which, which is pretty good. If you can get a hold of just blank version so of that, that would work. So while we're cleaning, Sean, why don't you show them? So I did give you links to a couple things. Number one is the Juanita chips. Do you want to show them the Julio chips? Yes. Let's see. So those what do we ones. love about those? So these were given to us by one it was of our a taste test. A taste yeah. test from one of our followers down in Texas. I think so. I believe what it was. I'll go back here. And they're called Julio's corn tortillas, and they're just lightly seasoned. So you get more of that nice corn taste of a corn tortilla uh, chip and just that little bit of taste in the back. So they're really, really good. These would make really great. Um, mm -hmm. Chips for like, uh, uh, what am I thinking of? Nachos and whatnot, and still have they that little have extra that good taste. They're though. just really, really good. We enjoy them so much. And uh, they're saying, we got word that, um, oh, who is it? Uh, Walmart is now carrying it. All right now, only one Walmart here in town is carrying it currently, so hopefully more will. Uh, hope we have no snow. It is very cold. It got right now. It is 25 degrees right now outside. It got down to 15 last night with a wind chill of probably seven because it was very windy. And it's supposed to be down to 14 today or tonight. So we'll see. Yeah, holes popcorn like Cheetos, the all that stuff. Absolutely. I still have a lot of 
trees to take care of because of our last snowfall because it was so, so, so heavy. The other thing I was going to share them with, which oh, yes. if you can find them, get them, is yes. these. We saw the small little version of these at our local Winco. At our local Winco for like those are Let me get those here. Evil. Let's just be honest. Yes. Evil. I'm obsessed. So uh, uh, a green apple outer shell with the caramels in the middle. So good. And then this is what we're giving away for Halloween this year. <laughs> Yes. Sean we're, we're wants doing... to give away full kit. He wants to be the cool kid. The cool house. Hey, look, guess what? Somebody's giving out big, big uh, candy bars. Sean be us said, there. we're going to be the talk of the neighborhood. And I was like, um, okay, whatever you think, Mr. Sean. Yeah, this is not normal coldness for us. This is a bit too it's cold. It's so cold. Even the snow that we got, there was snow when we were in Africa, which is so so rare it didn't snow in africa no when we were in africa it snowed oh. here it snowed here in <laughs> september like, what? it doesn't what snow africa here in september in? like the last time it did that was like 1914 or something that was a really long time ago hilarious sean all right so we are all done with that one i'm going to clean up using the norwex cloth and my enviro mm -hmm. sponge and we can get started on our next one, which will be the Jello popcorn, which nope. Well, you nope. were gonna say something. What nothing. Were you I have nothing. So these are a must. I have the link down below. I don't sell them. My good friend Town does. Um, the very first time I was given a, can we go up to us real quick. Mm -hmm. So we have obviously golden retrievers, and. The way we used to get their marks off from their nose off of our window is we would literally take foaming Windex and then we would take newspaper and that would be the only thing then you'd have all the soppy newspaper. My good friend Joanne goes, you need the window cloth. She goes, you just need water. You don't even need Windex. And I didn't believe her and I don't know what wizardry this stuff is, but these are amazing. They Wouldn't you are agree? Great. They are bad. They and are the then best. this is the new thing that I got, which is called the Norwex. I think these are called enviro sponges. One's really soft and then this. Mm -hmm. This is really good to get stuff that's like caked on. But it's weird because we're so used to adding so many chemicals to things and you don't need to. You don't. Yeah, just water. All right, guys. So on to our next one while the other one's cooking. I am going to start popping. Pop, 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 pop. Come so on over, Janet. Here is all of the ingredients for this one. As you can see, Sean chose the jello um so we're gonna do watermelon we also have green apple but he didn't want that so this one really is any kind of jello this is jolly rancher popcorn sugar caro syrup you will use butter but your butter will be for your hands to kind of mix it up um now this one is a little bit different not too much this one is a lot quicker because you do not have to bake this one this no. one you're just you do not so let's put our popcorn in first. I'm gonna get a little drink of my water. You can go back up on us for a while. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know, the way he presented his goodies on what we use in the in the world of uh, cooking is called <laughs> mise en place. So we're getting ready for this video. Of course, my Mac was like, you need to update because it was going so slow. And so I had to use this computer. And I was like, oh, we need to get all of our supplies. And he goes, I already have our mise en place ready. And I was like, your what? Mise en place. Your mise en place. Like, I should know. And it's like, what are you talking about? And he was like, that is what in the culinary world. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love you, but sometimes I, I, I got. So, well, else we'll show you some other fun stuff that we've got here. Yes. So here is Ken's goodies for Halloween. Because Sean has already... Okay, let's talk about that yesterday. So mm. yesterday, we got full-size candy bars. Sean gets all of his. I get to the Skittle box and it's all Skittles. And he's like, I want that. And he's like, you can't have that. And he said, we got all these full-size. Why can't I have that? And he goes, because I know you'll eat those. You won't eat the chocolate. <laughs> Fat shaming. But one of my good Canadian chocolate team members sent me a whole box of these, which uh, if you have not had these in the States, they're amazing. They're called Smarties. 
which is funny because in Canada, what we call Smarties here in America are called Rockets. Those are the little sugar discs. And then these are Smarties. And they're, I think, better than M&Ms. But we also have some Jelly Bellies, just mm -hmm. banana, juicy pear, and pomegranate. And this is my bowl, so I get soft red licorice and sweet and sour watermelon. And then this is all my sugar-free candy because, you know, I'm trying to... It's Halloween, though, Sean. I mean, come on. It come is. on, Sean. I know. I get a little bit of candy at Halloween, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at our dogs. They're so happy. Oh, my gosh. I have to show them my thing I bought this year. They're going to die. It's so cute, Sean. They're going to die. <laughs> Okay, Sean, are you ready? Who, what are we doing now? I'm going to show him what I bought this year. Sean never lets me buy Halloween decorations because uh, I have too many. And I said, Sean, I need these. And he never lets me buy them. And then he looked at him and he's like, you can definitely get those. Wait. Yeah, these are... <laughs> Aren't those cute? <gasps> are these not the cutest things ever? So Sean let me buy them. Sean never lets me buy stuff, guys. I know. He's so mean. Art by Kim is Kim is eating Smarties right now. Okay, so let's nice. go ahead and separate our first pop popcorn. So this one, once again, we are just trying to make sure there's no kernels because I'm not kidding you. I one time, fun fact for you guys, I made these popcorn balls because they're they, they're very in memory of my mom. Like there's a lot of stuff I do that is in memory of my mom. This, right now I'm looking at the ghosts we made together. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not kidding, one year I bit down on a popcorn ball and broke yes. one of my crowns. Somebody else said that And too. not only did I break it, like I broke it past the point of no return and I had to have an implant then. So now we get rid of the kernels. Yes. Do you want to show my ghost I made with my mom? Yeah, I can do that. While this is popping. So we made these with cheesecloth, sugar water, and a hanger and a balloon. And don't you use a can to wrap the wire around though? Yeah, you take a soup can, wrap the hanger Let's around see, the can... arms, and then you take um, a balloon for the head. Sorry, I'm gonna try to reach up really high there. Oops, and then when it's done, microphone. you pop the balloon. Sorry, I just kind of- my Oh, mic. sorry. Here, let me do it, Sean. You can't do that with your arm. Here, stop, stop, stop. You got it? Yeah, I just... So basically, what, I'll show you. So... These have been uh, Come here. been around for quite some time. These have been around since my mom was alive. Yeah. So basically, this is... This one needs help. They all, well, we would like to build new ones. So this one, we'll use the pointy here. So basically, you... Put them under the direct light, under the direct, direct light. There you go. So basically, you take a coat hanger around a soup can, and that's the arms, and then you blow up a balloon and tape it on top of the soup can, and that's the head. You take your cheesecloth, dip it in a very, very, very concentrated sugar water, and then you just drape it on there, and you let it dry overnight, mm -hmm. and it's good to go. Mm -hmm. Now, these have been around, like Sean says, probably since 2001. Um, so they're in need of some help. I'm not gonna lie, but I made them with my mom. Do you know how hard it is to to get rid of something you made with your mom, Sean? It's very hard. Yes. All right. So all we do on this is literally we're just going to stir it. So it's really soft at this point. And if you like really really chewy, now you could stop right here if you want to. Um, Sean likes his a little bit more crunchy. Oh, Riley's there, cleanup patrol. Riles, that's hot, Riley. Oh, she doesn't care, does she? No, sorry, I'm resetting the thing you turned off the oven. Oh, I'm sorry, Sean. Here, I got it, I got it, because you're making yeah. everyone sick. I'm making everyone sick. I swear he's on pain pills. He doesn't say None. he is, but he acts like he's on pain pills. You can use liquid corn, uh, liquid starch and cheesecloth and do ghosts like that as well. Mm -hmm. It's just, every year I bring them out, Sean's like, weren't we supposed to remake these last year? And I'm like, Sean, we never have time. Um, and he always is like, we need to redo this. But I'm sorry, I made those with my mom. Like, there's a lot of stuff that is very still much so. Yeah, the other things that your mom made were these um, Heidelberg beer bottle cats with a light bulb on top. 
I have my two that I made. And then he made his own. I did. Of course, my microphone's way down there, so I know you can't hear me. And those were fun to make, but they were hard to make because that the beer bottle that they're on in that one, they don't make anymore. And it's a short, stout beer bottle. Um, I'll go get the ones I made. It was a, a, a short, stout beer guy. And so, all right, another 10 minutes. If you take that for a second, I can fix my microphone. Okay. So, let me show you here. Sorry. One-handed Sean is not very fun, let me tell no, you. No, it's not. So here's the one I made. You can't find what? the short, uh, short Ray version. Ray Dunn? I, have, I don't have a problem with Ray Dunn. Stop it right now. I'm fine. Don't even, don't mm -hmm. judging. Don't judge me. Don't <laughs> judge me as I walk around. Don't judge me, people. All right, so here is, you can see the difference. I'll give you back this, Sean. Sure. So my mom's are the short stat one, but I can't find a beer. We went everywhere too, like trying to find that. So old Heidelberg, for those who've been around long enough to know what Heidelberg beer is. And then I think we just used plain old whatever beer we got hold of. But very cute, aren't they? All right, we are ready to go. Toby, oh, where's Toby? I'll He's show underneath where, where he always where is. is. That's Tobe's spot. It's a little sure. dark under there, sorry. And there's Han. All right, so our popcorn's ready to go. So we're ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to turn this around so I can put it back up here. So this one, I just go by memory, but there is um, a recipe for them. There we go. Did you get it? Yeah, the camera's back up. Just not sh pointing at you. Gotcha. I'm going to go back and see if I can find some uh, questions or anything. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. So um, I do this from memory, but you can absolutely um, do it however you want. And I also double up on the jello because I want a very good jello y taste. So we're going to start once again with a cup of corn syrup. For those who have not been to the room in a while, I broke my arm, broke my wrist. Intra. Which does not require surgery. No surgery. It's called an intra articular uh, ra uh, distal radial fracture with no displacement. And I was supposed to get an appointment for a cast, but they did not call me back. They called me, couldn't answer, called back. They didn't call me back. So I'm going to call them in the morning. So once again, we are making double of this one. So normally it's one cup of sugar, one kilo of syrup, um, and then three ounces of jello. But we're making a double because we have enough to make double. So we're going to be doing two and two. Does that make sense, Sean? Mm -hmm. So what did I, two? Two and two. Two cups of this. So basically if you're only making one, one batch, you would just do one cup of syrup, Jeez. one sugar, and then the small box. But we are doing, because we're going to be giving some of this away, we're doing a double batch. Uh, Kathy, heads are made of light bulbs painted uh, black. I think we did a matte, yeah, we did matte black. And if, if it's too black, you can paint your, uh, you can also spray paint your bottles so they're all black. I think that's what we did though, isn't it? We spray painted everything. Yeah, we yeah. spray painted everything. And then now if you're a cricket maker, you can actually cut the felt if you're out. A cricket maker, or, or if you, you have, have a cricket, a if you're a cricket kit. owner, uh, the yeah. maker owner, you can cut that all out nicely. You are the cutest little puppy I've ever seen in my life. I know. Your bigger face melts my heart. Do you know that? You are so cute. You're the cutest little bug I've ever seen. All right, so we're gonna turn this on. Seriously, we need a Ken and Sean cooking show. <laughs> I agree, we need a professional studio that we can do that. Now this one yeah. here, guys, uh, keep in mind, because the first recipe we did had um, 
the Kool-Aid and baking soda and stuff. This does not. So this is literally you just kind of combine it all and then and go to town. And then throw it on so, a. Yep. Where so, are we gonna put them on? This one you just mix in a bowl, but we can. I can go grab a cookie tray or something. Yeah. Because this one's gonna make a one. lot. So this is the. I haven't had the Jolly Man Rancher watermelon, so this is interesting. We'll have Sean be the taste of it. He loves, 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 loves watermelon. Don't you, Sean? Yes, I do. They are so good. No? <sighs> Jolly Rancher watermelon is the uh, best watermelon flavor out there, I think. We found some of uh, these uh, watermelon ice cream bar, or just watermelon, I guess, juice bars. Best watermelon flavor I oh, have ever found. Oh, he Oh, my God. I can't remember the name. I was so, it was that one of those really off the wall, you know, cheapy grocery stores. Grocery outlet. Grocery outlet. Oh. Yeah, it was good. It was so good. Don't know if they still have them because we're not in that time period, but I never know. So as we are getting that to boil and stuff, I'm going to take these. These are just cookie trays. Make sure that there is butter on it. Now this right. one here, um, I'm gonna restart my restream because it stopped. So, give me a second here. How do you not stop? Uh, people are chatting because I know because I haven't seen anything Didn't come I see back. What YouTube you're on by chance? Wait. Maybe you're on the wrong rock to YouTube. Hmm. We're getting YouTube just fine, but let me find it for you. That's your problem. I didn't even go in there. You need to make sure you switch. That's why you're having such an issue. So, your restream will always be like that. Sorry, guys. Bear with us here. Don't like melon anything? Mm, I like them all. So all melons. Basically, if you were just listening to our conversation, we have two YouTube channels, and we use a thing called Restream. And if you don't, if you're logged into one YouTube channel, but are watching like so we were logged in as ken's creations chocolate but on restream it was ken's creations so hopefully we're on the right channels now no butter either this one um doesn't get butter but it does get butter on the pans where we're in end up putting it because it will stick but it does, there's no butter that goes into it. And the recipe I gave you guys is the closest to the recipe I use. Um, there's other recipes out there, but... Can they verify that they're watching on Ken's Creations YouTube channel and not the Chocotour? Are you guys watching on because the... Because I'm now nervous that you were logged into the wrong one. This went to my Chocotour channel one. So if we could verify that, that would be awesome. Can everybody who's on YouTube, which... YouTube channel are you on? I love my Ryan and Sean, but that's the one thing they always forget to do. According to Restream, the only one that's on is Ken's Creations. Is what? Ken's Creations one, that's it. That's the only one that's turned on. Perfect. Yeah. Then um, we're good. Don't... Oh. Okay, that's fine. Is it fine? No, you're fine. Oh, yeah, I just opened it. Ken's Creations. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, okay. everyone. So we're going to turn this up a little bit. We want to start boiling. Now, on the Jello one, it's really important that you boil it to the point where it gets rid of all of that Jello granulated sugar. Mm. Uh, yes, okay. I was checked for concussion. I do not have one. I just hit it pretty hard. It's still still just a little sore. So like, you know how you can move the muscles that are on your head around, like you're trying to move your ears. I can still feel a little soreness, but that's it. Live, love, la uh, live, love, laugh five says she is going to bring this to Thanksgiving for all her nieces and nephews and sons. How awesome. So this one's my favorite. Sean likes the Kool-Aid. And uh, so we get into an argument. Why is that? Why do you like the Kool-Aid one more, Sean? Um, I'm not sure why. I think the jello for him is too um, 
it, would you say it's too like chewy almost? Maybe, could be. Tend it could be. I like this one because it is chewy. It's a chewier. Mm -hmm. um, where the Kool Aid one, because you bake it, it's a little bit. It's not flat, mm -hmm. but. My pots and pans are Circulon from Costco. They are the ones that are induction capable. Looks like a whole bunch of cursive L's, like four of them. Which you actually, have I think to... it, actually, I think it's actually on a pan, or is it? Mine just says induction suitable. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put this, uh, put butter on all this here. Can you and remove that from the heat for me, Sean? And we are going to start pouring. So this one, you're going to pour, then add more on pour. So I'm going to need Sean's help here. So he's going to be away from comments for a couple secs. Okay. No, 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 you're fine. I'll tell you when. Oh. Because you, you're not going to be able to do. So we literally just pour it in. Which George says, why didn't we do this? Do it this way to the other one. I guess you could. Um, it's because the other one, I don't know. I think it's the way you want it to be on the tray. So, and then we're just going to start stirring. Mm -hmm. And this one we will need to kind of rebutter every once in a while because this one is extremely sticky. Now, you need to use, go ahead and put some more popcorn, Sean. You do need to use a spatula or something because if you touch this, yeah, oh boy. Up. I am right-handed, thank goodness. You will not be a happy camper if you touch this. Well, Debbie, you could use sugar-free, but why? We've tried, we've tried. Yeah, but why? It doesn't <laughs> stick. When you have so much, it doesn't stick? So we've tried sugar, you remember because my mom was on the Atkins diet and yeah. tried? It will work. The caro syrup, obviously sugar, but it it doesn't stick to each other. So if you're okay not making balls, no, not yet. If you're okay not making the balls, then, but it, it has a hard time sticking. Oh, this one I love. No, nothing against Sean's. My puppy is literally, praying to the golden retriever goddesses that a little piece of popcorn falls her way. Aren't you, little <laughs> miss? Yeah, we need a bigger bowl, don't we? <laughs> I already have another bowl going. All right, so I need this in here. And you're gonna pour into this one once we're ready. Here you go. I'm gonna add some more butter. Give me one sec, Jonathan. Which, by the way, Jonathan is what Allie called Sean and it's stuck. Mm-hmm. So I am Kenny and he is Jonathan. Jonathan. There were a pair of, um, there was a set of pants that I saw at a home show. Oh my God. They were, they looked like some kind of a stone style that were so cool, so nice, but holy cow, they wanted $600 for the what? entire set. I mean, you got a lot. Okay, go ahead and. You got a lot. Put some in. Okay, oh, oh. whoops. And well, um, they she are is a very happy dog because a whole bunch. Yeah, they are induction because they're made by the same company that same company that basically started induction. They are black with white specks in it. They were so awesome. But I think the I mean you didn't have okay. to buy the whole set if you didn't want to, but mm, and not a ton, but that's good. Toby's doing very good so far. We really he's been so much better ever since we had the tie back. He had his um, antibiotics to get rid of his uh, one thing, so he's good. He is. He likes, All to, right. he likes to go outside and, and kind of jog around a little bit. He has so much more energy than he used to have, which is super nice. All right, Sean, probably just a little more, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. I would say maybe half that. Right there. Okay, so now as this we're gonna let this cool i'm telling you guys when i say this is hot it is hot so i'm gonna put this off to the side i'm gonna grab our other popcorn 
that's in the oven. See, normally you wouldn't be doing two of these like Crazyville here. Yeah. Um, so we're going to grab, do you want to grab the other camera so they can see? Mm -hmm. Now, Sean wants me to only do this twice. Normally we would do um, another go at this. But last time he thought it was way too it was way too crunchy. So that's going to be uh oh well dogs like butter right? Mm hmm. So we are gonna stop at two, right, Sean? Yes. Because last time we did three, and it was fine. Don't get me wrong. It just was to his point. It was a little crunchy. Okay. So this guy is all ready to coolax, chillax. So we're gonna go put this, excuse me. We can just put it right here for now. We'll grab our second tray. What are you doing? I don't want to Oops, know. I'm adjusting the brightness. Are you sure there. you're not on painkillers? Yep. Cause everyone is, there's a rumor out on the internet in many chat forums that you are a junkie now. I'm a junkie and now. And you need to go to get help. I'm just yeah. saying, I mean, I'm just, Sean, I'm here to help you. We Thank all go you. through it. We know that you, all right. So this one is good too. We're going to let it cool. You don't want to let it cool too much because it will stick to your pan. Um, but it's up to you. Okay. So these are chillaxin and I am super nervous about these. So I am going to put these up, excuse me, Shawnee, mm -hmm. and put these over here. All right, so the Jello one now. This is where the fun comes. So you don't bake the Jello one. So what we're going to do is you're going to make sure your hands have a lot of butter on it. And the reason we use butter is number one, it won't stick, but number two, it gives it a nice buttery taste, which is super good. Now keep in mind, everyone, this is hot. So as you're pulling this out, you're just going to kind of lay it flat. Now, normally this is where you would do your balls. If mm -hmm. you were a popcorn ball guy and a guy, Sean does not like popcorn balls. No. So. Because people crunch them like really tight and then they're yes. too, too hard. Sean says, no, thank you. Jessica, Jessica Siever, um, I don't really remember the name only oh. because it was so long. It was over a year ago. What, what, what name of what? Uh, these this uh pots oh, and pans we're selling it this is the, this is the one that was at the um, downtown um show that we went to with uh Vic victoria oh i didn't know you saw here's the deal about shows let me tell you guys so when we go to shows sean who is supposed to be i.e working in the booth with me and victoria just disappears we have no idea where he went then Sean comes back and says, we need this, 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 and this. And I'm like, Sean, I have been working my tail off in this booth. Where have you been? I took a break and <laughs> bought this, this, and this. <laughs> he can't go to home shows because he spends too much money. Some of the stuff is good. Some of the stuff not good. I do like the window cleaning one that we got the little squeegee and stuff that came with it. That works. I can clean all those windows that are over there. Oh, clean. the squeegee, yeah. Yeah, I, cl I can clean those in within five minutes. All clean and they're crystal clear. They're great. All the outside. I, I do it inside too, but they're great for the outside one. Yes. Okay, once again, guys, hot, hot, hot. Be very careful, please. If you're going to make this with kids, you need to form the balls. Do not let the kiddos form them. Um, the first set of popcorn that we did use was um, no salt or very, very little salt. Normally, it's... we do air popcorn, but... There's no salt. There's no salt with that. There's no salt on either of this oh, okay. because you have the salt on the popcorn, but there's no recipe. Ow, ow, yeah, there's ow, no ow, salt ow. in the recipe. There's just a little salt on the popcorn. Yeah. Okay, so as I just say, do as I say, not as I do. I just burned my finger because this stuff is hot, you guys. Scorch it. All right, we can now combine the two and make sure we are good. And of course, this helps when I'm not gimpy. Normally, he would be able to help me with this, but yeah. he, I felt so bad for him. Like, stuff that normally takes Sean no time. I said, Sean, we need to ship those packages. Okay. And I go check on him. 
he's probably 20 minutes in. I'm like, what is taking? And then I just stopped because I, he was trying to, poor little guy was trying to um, tape a package with one hand. That would be the culprit, George. What? Riley. Oh. Waiting, Look at her. Waiting for popcorn. All my other, ah, ah, ah. all the other dogs are good. This little girl. And then they all some, come. Oh, they all come once they hear, hear food drop on the ground. Isn't that right, Tobes? Even Toby. Even though Toby can't hear anything, which I think is. He can, he has I selective th- hearing. I think he's got selective hearing. I now. think he can hear me just because I'm so loud, which, oh my gosh, you guys, Ryan, my nephew, is so loud. Mr. Han. Honey Han. Han always has this poor me abused look on his face like. Mr. Han. Do you guys know that this guy abuses me? He is, I will say out of all of our dogs, he's our only dog. Sit. He's our only dog that will choose love over food. Isn't that right, baby Han? Yes, he will. Aren't you pretty? Yesterday, Han got in trouble by Daddy Sean. Oh. Oh, it was sweet, though. When Sean came in and literally, this is Sean walking in yesterday. Looks at me and does this. This is what he does. I fell. I fell. (laughs) I fell. And I was like, okay. And then he sits down and Han would not leave his side. No, he would not. He put his little head on him to make sure he was okay. Han's a lover. For sure. Everybody loves the baby Han. Yes, I'm glad it was my left hand and not my right. I am I glad ruin. you did not break your neck because yeah, could have. falling from ladders is very dangerous, number one. Number two, I asked him, you guys, please, can we call someone to do this? Please, can we Well, just... I was just doing trimming, trying to cut up I the know, stuff that's but fallen, but I went up a little bit. He didn't tell me he was using a ladder or I would have went out there and supported the ladder. I mean... Talk about scary. You never know. So easily you could have broke your neck, love, Mm -hmm. and been gone. And then what would have I done? Moved on? Don't you (laughs) ever say that. No. But yes, I would have. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So this guy is done. This one just sits out for a few minutes. So you can go back to up to us for a while while we break it up. We are on ourselves. Or you can go back up there and just right, have give me a second hands. to because you have so much going on. Oop, wrong way. There we go. All right. All right. So this is where the recipe, Sherry, is in the link. I will grab that link and put it in the chat here. One can you minute. go to this one real quick, Sean? Where this, am I going? Down below? Yeah. Sure can. So this is where um, this comes in. So you can see there's dried stuff. This is the Norwex and Viral Cloth. And I'm not using any chemicals. I just put it in the water a little bit. Just like that. It literally just, look it. And this is basically cooked on sugar. Mm -hmm. Just like that, it's all clean. I will say that Sean never uses his stove anymore. He just uses the induction cooktop. It's probably one of the best Christmas gifts I got him uh, that he actually used. We used to have just one. Yeah, by the same company. By the same company, but he used it so much. And this one's more powerful too. Well, and he would, he would use the, the stovetop and he'd be like, oh, this stovetop is a pee. So if we ever build a new house, it will for sure be all induction, induction. top. Yeah. I've, okay. s- I've looked at a few inductions. I just happened to look one time and there was one for $8,000. What? Like, no. You can go back to that I said, I am not doing that. I said, I want a nice one, but not that nice. <laughs> So any questions or anything, now would be time before we break up all the popcorn and mm. then we are going to jet over to our other channel and do a uh, our 45 days of mm-hmm. live. Artist Brie, hello. So um, we will be back, of course, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Ken from the car. Yes, it will be. Um, no, 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 not yet. I'm thinking, but, I want to see how, oh, how uh-huh. I'm not having it. I just want to feel it to see the results. I'm not going to taste it yet. Did you hear what I said? Who's here? Artist Free is here. Hi, Artist Free. I bet it's Ashley. Hi, Hi Ash. Ashley. Hi, Ashley. 
I'm going to assume it's Ashley. I we will that. assume. Um, so tomorrow we will be doing a uh, Ken from the car. And we will also be doing our chalk tour. And while I clean Sean, You know what, now he left the room. We have never dressed our dogs up in... What was clothes. that? We've, if somebody asked if we dress our dogs up for Halloween. We've never done never that. Never have. I, I, don't so, know if they, I don't know if they would like it or not. I so badly wanted to dress up this year, but literally, you guys, when I say we don't have time, we didn't even have time to go shop for a Halloween outfit, so I'm super sad because I was actually looking forward to it. So is there any, I want to know, Sean, since you have all the people in your, at your disposal, what are some recipes that everyone in the group makes in honor of someone? If somebody does what again? <laughs> what are some recipes that the people in the chat room make in honor of someone? So obviously oh. this is in honor of my mom. Honor of your mom, yes. yes. What do stuff. you guys, who do you, what do you have that you do? You're really late, Rebecca. Sorry. <laughs> All right, George, we'll meet you downstairs. <laughs> My sister has an induction stove top. She always cooks with a towel under her pot to help the spills during cooking. Well, hopefully it doesn't boil over all the time. What was that? Um, Angela Stovall says that her sister has an induction stove top, but she always cooks with a towel underneath the pots to help with spills during cooking. We don't make any of Sean's like recipes growing up. He didn't like. I have a lot of recipes. I have nothing. I, we had nothing. You guys didn't do like holiday baking and stuff. Sean, what are we gonna be doing on Halloween? What's our tradition that I got from my mom on Halloween? If what we, we stay at do? home, what do we do? You're horrible at this game. I know. I put you on the spot all the time. I know. It's like what. So, what do we always make and eat on Halloween if we're home and we hand out decorations? Oh, we make chili and corn dogs. Chili, uh, chili with corn. Uh, yeah. Well, I was going to say corn dogs, but hot dogs and chili. <laughs> That's my mom's. Chili dogs. It's kind of like her tradition in a way. Okay. Now you have to wait because everybody's popping up. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Okay, let me get back to the first one here. I'm ready uh, to Sorry, hear it. it went by so darn fast. Everybody went and went, Let's see, it's going to get forage. This is what the recipes they make? Yes. Oh, I'm uh, so excited for this. My mom's cheesecake squares. Ooh, that's good. I make an good. Italian cookie that my grandmother used to make. That Danish pastries. Corn you know pudding. What? You know what we should do, Sean? Hey, guys, wouldn't it be awesome if you guys made all of your family recipes and send us the recipe and some of the treats and we'll try them live and then we'll try to remake them? Oh I.e. just send Ken oh my sugary goodness. stuff. <laughs> my dad's Spanish rice. I don't think I've ever, I, my mom made Spanish rice, not a fan. Yeah, pumpkin bread, pork chops and scalloped potatoes. Noodle krugel, like my mom used to make. Noodle what? Krugel. Mm. K-U-G-E-L. I forget what that, I think I know what that is, but I kind of, I'm not sure. Chicken soup, grandma's. I make stuffed artichokes. Ooh, I love artichokes. Honor of me, peach bellini. My mom's uh, whisket pudding. My fudge bars in memory of my grandmother. Aww. Cheese tart cookies, which weren't my mom's. I love my everything about this right now. Cream puffs. My mom made them. I make a Cajun potato salad like my mom. My dad's rice pudding. I love rice. I love a good rice pudding. Homemade gnocchi in order of my father. I, I like, don't think I've I ever love, had gnocchi. What is I it? I love no, gnocchi. No, gnocchi. Gnocchi. It's, what it's, is it? It's basically a, it's a potato dumpling. Ooh. It's German. That sounds good. Uh, onion rice casserole. That sounds good. Rice and hamburger dish in honor of my grandparents. Aww. Uh, persimmon cookies in order of my mama. Hop and John in honor of my... Hop and John in order of my granny. Deanne, you're going to have to tell me what that means. I don't know what that is. Sweet what potato... What is it? Hop and John. Hop and John. Never heard of it. Uh, sweet potato pie. Never Every had, time I hear sweet potato it. pie, I think of... Paddle the bell, sweet potato pie. Dad's Spanish rice. Okay, Sean. 
Sorry to interrupt, but we are almost at our time. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to go back to this camera? We're going to break this up. So the first one we're going to break up is your Kool-Aid. Okay. So the Kool-Aid one is, you're going to see, is very, I mean, it's brittle. See? It's like a brittle yep. and stuff. So you are going to need um, a uh, like a pie spatula or something to get it up because it will be stuck. Lasagna. I love a good lasagna. Nothing so better. This one, you do want it to be crunchy. So this one is the crunchy one. Mm -hmm. The next day it does soften up. But this is your traditional um, almost caramel corn. Mm -hmm. But you want to break it up at this point. Or, I mean, you don't want to break it up earlier than this because it will just form in big... Um, like kind of break. How, yeah. What am I trying to say? Like it'll, it'll just melt together as one big mm -hmm. thing. Ooh, chicken curry. One of my faves. Oh, well, nope. you better get that from her. You don't need that little miss. Put that off to the side here. All right, you can try it, Sean. Ooh, homemade ravioli. Go and try it. All this right. is yours. Here we go. And then explain to everyone what it is. What does it taste like? The texture, mm. all of that. It's like, mm, so good. So it's a little crunchy, a little chewy together. As this as this sits even longer throughout the night, it'll, it'll probably get a little more crunchier. And then eventually, the next day, some of the moisture in the air kind of gets absorbed into it, so then it's not as crunchy. So mm -hmm. it's kind of weird how it kind of changes. Mm. Love them. We could have probably taken this off a little sooner. It's a little more than it normally would be stuck, but that's just because we let it sit there. And this was essentially two uh, bags worth, or bags. I always say it wrong. Pecan Sandies. And what's cool about this is really you can make it any flavor. Some people mm -hmm. will say, well, do I have to add flavors? No. Mm -hmm. You can just make it with the uh, Caro syrup and you would, instead of having the two packets of Kool-Aid, you would just have it be basically a sugar popcorn ball. Um, I've had some people make a uh, candy corn version, which is honey, and they do it in three different colors and then form the ball. Super cute. All right, so that one, is done. I'm gonna grab this and this and let this soak. And remember doing Amish friendship bread? What are we saying? Amish friendship bread. Did you ever do that? No, what is it? Mm. So the Amish would make these uh, starters for breads and then give them out to people. And then you take that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, can yeah. make bread that and you That's can make awesome. keep staring going. On. It's good bread too. Okay. And these seed cookies. I would love to try one of those. So this is gonna get dumped into this one because we need the bigger bowl for the jello. So this is strawberry kiwi. Little Miss is in having a heyday because she keeps on trying to grab stuff off the floor. Okay, so the this stuff, this is the jello. Now you're going to instantly see the difference here. Can you grab the strawberry kiwi one, Sean? So the strawberry kiwi right there. Hmm. So this you can see. No, 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 no. I was gonna do this. This is very like chewy. Crunchy. So breaks. Jello, very soft, chewy. That's why I liked it. So if you think of the consistency of almost, would you say Laffy Taffy almost? Kind of, sort of, yeah. Where this is definitely hard candy. It's the difference between a Jolly Rancher and a Jolly Rancher chew. Do you think that makes sense? Yes, it does. Jolly it's Rancher Jolly versus... Ranchers. I like to think the Jolly Rancher has a much... Um... So tell everyone, oh wait, wait you got to show them your face when you eat it. Okay, so it mm. displayed that one. So yes, very chewy, chewy. Not crunchy at all, other than the popcorn. Which I love, the crunchiness, mm. or the chewiness. And I think that's why my mom liked it, is it's it's more of a, mm. if, you're, if you're like, I don't like hard candy, like I don't like Jolly Rancher hards, but I love Jolly mm. Rancher chews, and mm. that's why I love this kind. Sean likes the crunch. I think he likes the Kool-Aid because it reminds him more of a traditional caramel corn. 
My stove top is not on. It just lights up with a number. It won't start until you hit start. Okay, last one. And it will not work unless there's something with a magne magnetic bottom. Don't do anything. You're a magnetic bottom. I know. I'm That's what's cool about this. I kill me. And this can be, you can have this on super hot and you can put a piece of, pa pa piece of paper underneath it. It won't even ignite. So this is three bags of popcorn versus two. You can see the difference there. So there you are. I've had this double one for two years now or three years? Three years now. Yeah, so I've had that three years. Works great. It's an 1800 watt. The only bad thing is if you're doing both of them, they can't run 1800 watt together. Oh, I didn't know that. So if you're trying to boil water with one and trying to cook with another, it won't. It Every slows it down. Every time you hear someone talk about boiling water, I remember that Hell's Kitchen episode where a girl said that cold water boiled faster than hot water. Yeah, right. Whatever. Do you remember that? Yes. And everyone was like, mm. uh, no. Um, now, the actual stovetop ones, because they use a much bigger element or a bigger uh, power, you can get some of those up to 3,700 watts. So that'd be almost twice of one, two, like two of these put together as one. And the, one of those things can truly boil water, a pot of water in 90 seconds. It's so powerful. What is Janet sending? Oh yeah, so, yeah, Janet, be great. Send the, uh, send the starter. And then now I can just come on over and get some. So the stove is not on, nothing's on, everything's turned off. See, I can set it, start, nothing. It's waiting for, it's waiting for a magnetic pot to be put on there. What is it about the induction stove that you like it's so much? It's very, very accurate. Okay. This says, for, see, it's telling me error one, meaning that there's nothing here, no pot to turn it on. So. High is 425 degrees, which means it'll take that temperature to 425 and, and keep it there. It won't go up, it won't go down, it stays there. And I'm telling you right now, we, I just got the one stove one year because they are a little bit more expensive, but. I, I leave it right there. Leave what, right where? Um, Joanne Vicio says, how do you store them? I just leave it right there on my camera. Oh, I'm if, like if, I mean, I do just because I use it so much. He doesn't use our other. I rare, if I need a third pot, then I'll use my gas. Plus my gas has two broken, um, oh, what do they call them? Um, when you turn it to click on, uh, there's a, a, a manifold or a thing inside that opens up to allow the gas to flow. They're broken, so they don't open up at all. So the stove, stove works because it's electric. Uh, the gas part, I only have two that work. Other, the other two are broken. Yep. Sucks. <laughs> All right. So why don't we go to the last. Congra congrats, Renee. Last view here so they can see the popcorn one last time. Mm -hmm. um, I should have done two different colors because it's hard to see which is which. Your upper one is no longer on. Uh-oh. That's okay. Then I, wonder just... if that's, I wonder if that's the uh, plug-in that doesn't work. Could be. Can we go to this one mm -hmm. then? Yeah, and just what? show them that. Sorry, guys. Oh. So the one off to. The this. right? Yeah. So crunchy. Here, I'll show you. Here, ready? Mm -hmm. So this is strawberry kiwi. Ah. Uh, oh. Here you go. So crunchy, yeah. Very crunchy. And then this is my jam. This is the ooey, gooey, chewy goodness. Oh, I love it. Run. And I will tell you guys, I know it's not great for me, we don't make it year round. No. <laughs> I only make it around holiday, Halloween, and it truly is something that I do in memory of my mom. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I love it. It's, it's awesome tasting, but it's some of those times, you know, and most of the stuff that we make, we do give away, um, but it is truly something for my mom. So, all right, guys, we are going to Jet. If you want to see us on our Chocolate Tour channel, we're heading over there next. Um, mm -hmm. The link is down below for our 45 days alive. It's gonna be a super quick live because of tonight's uh, thing. Um, but we'd love to see you over there. I hope you enjoy today's little cooking funness. Make sure to, oh, wait, I, oh I don't know what he's doing. Sorry guys, this I'm way. sorry if you're getting dizzy. I think he's on drugs. No. He says he's not, okay, what? I don't know why he did that. That's kind of weird. There we go. All right, so we will see you over on our other channel. Bye everyone. Bye. I have to do this though. Oh,